Hey everyone, this is Victor from Growth Evolution Development Ground, gdground.com. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about creating self-discipline. Now, why do we need self-discipline? Well, simply to go far ahead in life, simply to be better at doing whatever you're doing. Because you've probably heard that in order to be successful, in order to do good, you need to be a constant learner. You need to be open to learning, you need to be acquiring new skills, and so on. And I agree, this is the truth, but that's not all. This is, there's more to it. Because you can learn a lot of things, you can acquire new skills, but if you don't really use them in the, in the right way, they're not going to get you really far. And in order to get really far, you need self-discipline because self-discipline is what allows you to keep going when everything is really hard, whenever you're making mistakes. That is what pushes you to get back up from your knees and start moving forward again. So there are, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the seven things, seven tips that you need to be aware of in order to help yourself grow this self-discipline. And the first thing is, of course, that you have to understand that self-discipline is a habit. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, the thing is that some people, they're born and raised in a family where self-discipline is a big thing. It, over the lifetime, it becomes a habit to be disciplined in an unconscious way. You're just taught by your parents to be self-disciplined. So you don't really have to try hard to be disciplined. But on the other hand, if you're watching this video, you probably you don't probably belong to that part of the world. You belong to the world where self-discipline wasn't such a big thing. It somehow didn't stick to you. So you also have created a habit of not being disciplined throughout your lifetime. And now it's really it's stuck with you. And in order to be self-disciplined, you need to put some effort into it. Maybe you're having a hard time being disciplined, always feeling like, well, maybe not today, slacking. And of course, there's probably a certain amount of chaos in your life. Now, what does it mean to create a habit? Well, it certainly means to put, again, the effort into it and to wait for some time to pass by. What I'm trying to say is that it's going to be hard for you at first. It may feel that it's hard to be disciplined, but it's not, it's not the case. Because just like any habit, once it becomes... Once you keep repeating it over and over and over again, it becomes second nature to you and you don't really have to um, work hard on it anymore. It will become a habit. And so unlike the people who've unconsciously formed this habit of being disciplined, the people who are less fortunate, they have to uh, consciously form self-discipline on their own simply through being disciplined. But please don't worry, it's going to be only hard at first. As soon as, you know, some time passes, it's going to become easy. Now, the second thing is, of course, setting goals. Second goals is in the context of self-discipline. It's super important. When I started to focus a lot on just becoming better and self-development in general, one of the first things that I put into use was setting goals. And I can't really explain I can't even express how much goal setting has changed my life. Because if you think about it, um, self-discipline comes through control, by you taking control of yourself, of your life. And the best way to create this control is to, to set goals. So for example, think that you have, a, let's say that you have a school project or a work project to do, and you have a certain deadline. And that's kind of like a goal. You set a deadline and by, certain, by a certain day, you need to finish it. But what happens in reality? Well, in reality, many people who are not very disciplined, they leave it until the last moment and either try to do it all at once or not do it at all. And even if they do it all at once, it doesn't, turn, it doesn't become as good as it could have been if you would have spent a bit more time on it. So what you do is you set more goals, smaller goals, leading to this big goal, to the deadline. And that's what I've been doing in my life. I set daily goals, I set weekly goals, I try to set monthly goals, and I even have a couple of big goals, which is more like a vision. Uh, I have a whiteboard hanging at home through which I, to which I write 
whatever comes up to my mind that becomes my new goal immediately i write it on my whiteboard so i can always see it i also have the simple notes application which is synchronized with my phone and computer so that my goals are always everywhere with me uh whenever i do finish one of those daily goals i mark it off take it off and it's 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 weird but it it's it's a lot of pleasure actually seeing that goal ticked off uh marked marked off and so that's what i'm trying to say to you is that you need to set goals this is a pretty much uh, this is something that you have to do you can't uh you can't become really self-disciplined and really do good if you if you don't have you have no goals because what are goals goals help us to understand where we are going and how much time we need to get there but also goals show us that you know that we're behind sometimes because if we have a certain deadline like today we were supposed to complete this and this and this and we didn't we know we're behind if we don't have goals we don't know where we're going so self discipline comes so much more naturally if you create this control through goal setting and goal setting is actually a great way it's, it's nothing to stress out about it takes like a couple of minutes to create those daily weekly goals but it gives so much you know more relaxation actually because you don't need to think throughout the week of the things that you need to do of the things maybe you're missing out on you're simply going by your schedule and that empties your mind of unnecessary junk of unnecessary thoughts about well, what am i doing today what am i doing tomorrow you you're just sticking to the plan goal setting is supposed to ease your life not make it more difficult and i really as and also many other people can say the same that it's a really enjoyable process to accomplish your goals now the other thing is of course no temptations no no distractors what do i mean by this well say that you love beer you think beer is the best thing the human kind has ever invented and you're drinking a lot of it now although you really do love it you understand that it's becoming a habit for you and that it's uh, affecting your health and your life in general negatively and so you <clears throat> decide to have some self discipline and cut down on this alcohol and uh, to not drink the nectar of the gods so to say so in this case it probably wouldn't be a good idea to go with your friends and sit in a pub if you're trying to not drink this is what i mean by no temptations no distractors now depending on what it is chocolate or any other thing you can think of know your own distractors if you think that this can break you then don't do it you have to really know what the difficult thing is for you to do and try to stick away from it make it easier for yourself to to con- to have this self discipline uh play with it don't play against it but whatever you do don't really think that this is going to be a painful transformation again because it's not supposed to be self discipline like i said in the it's only in the beginning hard you don't drink for some time it you're going to live over it and then you're not even going to worry about it anymore you can go back to the occasional drink if you want to um find your morning ritual now a morning ritual is simply something you do in the morning to get your mind straight into the into the correct state of to get yourself into the correct state of mind i for example when i wake up i meditate as the first thing in the morning Uh I also as part of my morning ritual I don't check my emails although I could I have like 15 emails every morning that you know are waiting to be responded to but I don't check them because I know that if there's something nasty there it's going to kill my mood for the rest of the day so I I give it like one or two hours before I even you know before I even open my mail application I also stretch and i also listen to ha- for half an hour to either some audiobook about something really interesting motivational or a pod- or i listen to a podcast maybe about entrepreneurship or success or motivations again something of this type to get me into the right mindset because that way it's easier for me to be disciplined throughout the day it's the morning that sets your whole day if you set your if you start your morning in a really you know in a not very nice way then 
you have to also understand that it is going to affect the rest of your day. It's going to be harder to be disciplined. So create your own morning ritual and, and just start your day in a good way. Set it up in a good way. And your morning ritual can be, of course, anything, anything that helps you be happier and more motivated. Um, now, positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is the, uh, the act of you celebrating your small and big wins. So you're doing something good and then you, then you create, a, give yourself a treat for it. The idea is that, again, that self-discipline may feel difficult. But you don't want to connect it to, you don't want to connect self-discipline, being disciplined only to pain. Connect it to something good. For example, you've been, so this, you've been disciplined for seven days. At the end of the seventh day, do something amazing. Just have a nice time, just quality time. Give yourself a gift, do whatever. And that way, you're connecting the, the fact that, you know, being disciplined brings something positive. So being disciplined means it will always bring something positive. You're creating this connection between the two. That's called positive reinforcement. You have to celebrate the small wins. You have to, you have to always do it in life. It's, life is not about always hard work and pain and agony and whatever. It's also about having a good time. Because if you're not enjoying the things you're doing, then there's really no point to it, right? Now, people also use the punishment approach so that when they're doing something wrong, they punish themselves for it. It's kind of like the opposite of positive reinforcement. I personally don't do it and I wouldn't recommend you to do it because when I make a mistake and I, I'm not so disciplined or whatever else it may be, I start, you know, kind of hating on myself. And that's already a punishment big enough for me. So I wouldn't suggest you create more, more punishment for yourself unless you really need to, unless there's no way for you to take yourself seriously in this case. But I would concentrate more on the positive reinforcements on, you know, giving yourself a gift, on celebrating the wins. Now, also, if you can't do it alone, do it with a friend. Accountability is super strong. That's what, uh, you know, different different you know group activities are all about that's what life coaching is all about because if you're if you can create a story and lie to yourself which we do all the time we're pretty good at it you know creating um, creating these little stories and exceptions why we shouldn't be doing something you know what we actually should be doing well when you have a friend or somebody else who you've promised something then it's, it becomes much more serious. You don't really want to lie to them. You don't want to really put yourself in a bad place. So do it with somebody else. If, if there is somebody else you can do it with. Accountability is a great tool. It's used all over business, all kind of you know, life coaching and so on. And now the last but, least, but not least, I want to mention to you that please, whatever you do, don't ever stress about it. Don't ever lose your sleep over it. Because like I said, life is about finding the balance, enjoying stuff that you do. You can also enjoy hard things. You can also enjoy things that not, don't come so easy. And you're going to make mistakes and you're going to have setbacks. One of the biggest things that I find that people create mistakes with is that they believe that when they start something, even as something as, you know, discipline, they think that, well, from now on, it's all going to be perfect. No, it's not. It's normal to make mistakes, but it doesn't mean you're a failure. On the opposite, it actually means that you're human and that you're learning. You're working, working, working. You have a setback. It's okay. Don't stress over it. Don't, don't just, don't quit. Keep going. Start again. Make a better attempt tomorrow. I, I know what I'm talking about because I have a you know, the perfectionist mindset, the all or nothing. And I've always been like this in my life, that if I do something, I do it completely. And if I don't, I don't do it at all. And if I do something, you know, fully, and then I make a mistake, I feel like I've lost everything. I've just completely messed up and I feel like just giving up. And it always takes some effort to get over it and to continue. 
because I've kind of by now already figured myself out that, you know, I'm just a all or nothing person. And it's not always about black and white. There's, you know, the middle also. And so I just keep going. So that's in case you're also like that, that don't stress over it. It sucks to be stressed over things that you don't need to be, um, to be stressed over. Uh, being self-disciplined is not actually about making your life, you know, more difficult. It's about making your life easier. When you're disciplined, you know what's happening around you in life. When you're not very disciplined, you're living in a very chaotic way. Things you're probably not deadline. You're not catching up to deadlines. Probably, you know, all these extreme things are happening to you, these unexpected occasions and so on. Discipline helps us take care of this stuff. Discipline is what actually allows us to focus on something and move forward and do it with awareness. That now my cause is this, my vision is this, I'm moving towards it and there's nothing that can affect me because I'm disciplined enough to stick to the plan. So it makes your life easier because you have a focus. So whatever you do, don't stress about it. Learn to enjoy it. Find the balance. Find the harmony. Ha harmony. And uh, I wish you good luck in the process. If you've liked this video, if you've learned something new, please hit the thumbs up for me. And subscribe for more similar content in the future. And I hope to see you in the next video.